create uh, a cluster of projects that we managed and uh, we are still managing at Consorzio Arca with the aim to respond to a sustainability quest uh, in, the, in, the fashion, uh, in the fashion sector. Uh, some uh, some figures about the context. Uh, um, it takes almost uh, 10,000 liters of water. Uh, what one person drink in seven years to make one pair of jeans. Uh, and when those jeans are discarded, uh, they join uh, the 21 billion tons of textile that end up in landfill each year. Of uh, 10, uh, uh, 1,000 billion items produced yearly, 14 for each human on the planet, uh, three uh, in five will be discarded within one year. Um, and the uh, uh, Environmental Audit Committee found that the 15% of all clothing fabric is wasted at the cutting edge stage of production before it even has the chance to get in stores. Uh, during Fashion Revolution 2021, in the Fashion Revolution Week, it emerged that uh, uh, two, uh, 200 million trees uh, are felled each year to make a cellulosic fabric. 35-40% uh, of those coming from uh, all the growth woodlands. And uh, again, when it comes to pollution of water supplies, abuse of workers and damages to the environment, the statistics are endless. Uh, all in all, making clothing is a dirty business. Um, uh, these figures, uh, um, already well known, uh, alight in the scope and the scale of the issue, uh, which clearly cannot be resolved by one company or one country alone. Uh, a broad reaching structural transformation is required. Um, leading to the main uh, action research question posed uh, that we can pose. It is possible to intervene holistically to transform an entire industry towards sustainability. And if so, where to start? Well, our response uh, started in 2015 uh, with the uh, uh, European project and Horizon 2020, TCBL, that started uh, in 2015 and uh, has been completed in 2019. Uh, and we formulated an alternative approach to address the problem based not on remedial action, but rather uh, a diffuse creation of sustainable value by and for all stakeholders, including customers. Uh, this for sure implies a systematic transformation of business models uh, brought about uh, by all players in the sector engaging in the experimentation of new process and transaction patterns. Uh, TCBL addresses to smaller uh, pre-existing European companies, and uh, we try to envision um, a, a transformational uh, a process uh, for, uh, for them, and uh, um, in particular, uh, sharing values and goal together and uh, reducing uh, the risk of exploring new suppliers, new clients, and new markets. So the basic concept of TCBL was the creation of a lab that uh, uh, sometimes was more close to a living lab, sometimes more close to a maker space, and, and so on, and create a big network with the all other labs uh, uh, spread all over uh, Europe and beyond and engage with the local uh, textile and clothing companies uh, to understand the potential by developing a new sustainable business model. Um, in, uh, in 2016, uh, we had another piece of, uh, of, this, uh, of this puzzle that, is, uh, that was the Creative Wear project that anticipated how textile and clothing industry can recover from its deep structural crisis uh, through a new attention to design, uh, to creativity, uh, in a value-driven and customer-driven approach. Um, we create uh, uh, five uh, creative uh, uh, hubs or, or labs, if we, 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 can, uh, we can keep on saying the same uh, name. Uh, brought in together artists, designers, uh, creatives, uh, from uh, making them working and interaction with uh, uh, small and medium enterprises in Italy, Spain, Slovenia, and, and, and Greece. 
And uh, uh, the experimentation with the different interaction format led to a common creative wear model uh, whose transfer capacity was tested uh, by an extension to seven new creative apps through uh, two different open calls in 2018 and 2019. And all these uh, new labs were uh, put together in the big network created before by uh, TCBL project. Uh, these are two other uh, uh, pieces of, of the puzzle. Reframe, another Horizon 2020 uh, project uh, that were participated by two, uh, two uh, labs uh, uh, from the previous project, ITEX in Spain and ARCA again in Italy, uh, supported art-driven innovation in uh, European research and innovation project by incorporating artists into scientific and uh, technical teams, research team, um, Refrim was uh, a lighthouse pilot from STARTS, Science and Technologies plus Art, and uh, uh, response to a challenge that uh, how to uh, art uh, can be inspired urban manufacturing in cage industry, technology, and user artists in a broad artistic explore, uh, exploration of technology uh, with the aim of creating novel products, processes, and, and services. And uh, uh, last but not the least, uh, a project that we are still managing that will end in uh, this year, in, in June, the Creative Wear Plus project that uh, were uh, three original partners from Italy and Greece uh, pair up with the three new hubs in Portugal, France, uh, France sorry, and Bosnia to further extend the Creative Wear network uh, and, uh, and model. Um, this new project uh, is more focused on uh, uh, the sustainability issues and uh, again the transformation path uh, uh, through creativity for uh, companies, uh, especially um, small designers and uh, small uh, medium, uh, uh, medium enterprises. Um, this is uh, um, uh, the, the, the network we, we built uh, in, uh, in this year with uh, more than 50 in, uh, innovation labs, uh, 250 companies, uh, and this is important for showing the interaction and the, the, the pilot uh, uh, we built between, uh, thanks to the interaction between the labs and, and companies. Uh, we had also one new uh, lab uh, from the Refrain project, that is the um, uh, textile prototyping lab in Berlin, uh, that is host, uh, hosted by Fraunhofer Institute, a microelectronic institute, and the new Creative Wear Plus uh, uh, hubs uh, uh, of, the new, of the new project. Uh, this is an overview of the uh, of the collaborative project we, we did, divided by scaling up and scaling down with the short runs, TCBL Cafe, uh, project that dealt with the rediscover of transition through digital heritage, or uh, uh, something more disruptive like uh, um, dying with bacteria and so on. And uh, uh, for sure, uh, the, 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 the green one, the green, uh, uh, the green side of the, of, uh, of the collaborative project about uh, a more eco-friendly production and, and uh, natural, the use of natural, uh, more sustainable natural fibers. Uh, here are some, uh, some um, example, uh, creation of bio uh, polymer at Centex Bell, one of our labs, uh, uh, artistic expression at uh, Consorzio Arca. You see there are very different uh, uh, pilot uh, project Natural diets at La Colombina in Italy, uh, one of our labs. Uh, chemical reduction finishing in Best, that is a, a big company uh, close to, to Prato in Tuscany. Uh, this is uh, another uh, um, uh, pilot project uh, to organize a more human workplaces uh, in, in, in France. And here are some uh, new sustainable uh, products uh, delivered by the Refrain project. Uh, we have a letter from, from Cork, 
We have, um, we have no woven uh, and uh, crafted textile for recycling jeans. Uh, we have dresses from ocean microplastic. Uh, uh, this is a bespoke dresses with the micro encapsulation. This project, the Neobotanical uh, Gardens, uh, new uh, new sustainable materials, and so on. But uh, um, I would like to, uh, before finishing to underline what we did for our community because uh, the first step of the project in 2015 was to build an innovation community um, uh, driven by a feasible vision for a sustainable uh, future and uh, through mapping competencies, uh, spaces, machineries that we have. And then, then we decide to both and uh, to, this, uh, to this project. And uh, we have these businesses to collaborate with um, independent creatives, uh, ateliers, design studios before in our local uh, territory, but uh, then uh, um, helping them to exchange uh, all over Europe and uh, uh, building also a, a local value-based communities, not only of uh, uh, textile and coffee company by bring, bringing together a different uh, uh, and an and heterogeneous community of, uh, of people uh, in order to um, help them through also uh, co creative session in order to, to see a new future for, uh, for their uh, um, businesses. Um, this is important also uh, to explain, to testify how significant uh, is not just to launch a single project, but all these projects that uh, together helped to, um, uh, to uh, engage uh, to uh, more people. And uh, this also led the way to uh, um, a lot of ac activities uh, in, uh, in Palermo, for example, well, we, uh, we bring together a sort of uh, uh, big event uh, spread all over the city like Vestino, but uh, more important, uh, we, uh, we, we, uh, we, we give back uh, um, a textile lab that uh, is now open again after the pandemic, uh, consultancy and support to our community, visibility for them participated in European project or like uh, on other event specific tools uh, we, we delivered, and for sure a very close uh, uh, cooperation with uh, the, the fashion district uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Palermo. Thank you very much.